Hello, and thank you for joining us. This is No Sound Bites Allowed, and I am your host, Michael Voss, Dragon of the Southern Tier. I'm happy to be here with you today. Today, we're going to be talking about misinformation in the media. We're talking about false news, disinformation. It's a very big issue. It's been something that's been spoken about repeatedly by the news media on certain outlets, and I think it's important to talk about today. And I'll explain why in just one second. But if this is the first time that you've been to the channel, we do long-form political commentary. And every Sunday at 2.30 p.m., we do a live stream with you on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. We take your chat, your messages, and your phone calls talking to us about what matters to you and what's happening out there. And that's because we believe in free speech. And so we hope to see you on Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But let's talk about the issue at hand today, talking about the news media and misinformation, misdirection, misleading the public. It's a big deal. And we've heard a lot of people say that the right is doing that. We've heard a lot of the left-leaning news media, the majority of news media, has said that about a very small segment. But is it accurate? Do we see other examples? Well, let's look at the example of Parler and its lawsuit with Amazon. Now, for full disclosure, just so everyone knows, we want to be very clear that we are on Parler. We are not members of uh, the management of Parler. We do not receive payment. Uh, we're not involved in that way. We are just members on that platform. The platform that Parler is, is, it's an alternative to Twitter. That's all it is. Uh, it is generally used by more right-leaning individuals than left-leaning, as Twitter is more left-leaning, as per Jack Dorsey and his directions and some of his actions in his company. That being said, there was a news announcement today in regards to Parler. It was uh, at 7, uh, 19 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on March 3rd. The Verge put, published this article. Parler has dropped its hosting lawsuit against Amazon. It's a very specific title. It's a very specific article. The article by Russell Brandon goes into detail talking about that fact that Parler has withdrawn its antitrust lawsuit, that Parler had gotten an extension on February 16th for that lawsuit, and at the end of the deadline, they withdrew their case. Now, this is important because it would lend credence to those who would believe, and it would lead the public to believe, that, that this is the end of the case, that there was no merit in the lawsuit by Parler against Amazon. To be very clear, the lawsuit, which was put into uh, on January 21st, when Parler sued Amazon, it was because Amazon, as a reaction to the DC riots on January 6th, pulled the plug on Parler. Amazon is the hosting uh, web hosting service. Parler was on their service. Parler had no choice in the matter, and Amazon violated a contract to remove it without prior notice. These are facts. The lawsuit was an antitrust lawsuit. And again, The Verge was very clear in putting out their article highlighting that there was no merit to that case. That is the meaning of their article that this lawsuit was dropped and it was done so because there's no merit in the lawsuit Parler had against Amazon. That's not exactly correct. Now, we want to be very clear. There's been other news agencies that have reported what The Verge has reported. In fact, we see that there was Business Insider reported uh, approximately nine, uh, approximately nine thirty today, that Parler dropped its antitrust lawsuit against Amazon, which it filed after Amazon took it offline in the wake of the Capitol riots. 
Again, another article which is highlighting the fact that The Verge has reported that the lawsuit was pulled by Parler. But that was that's the main gist of the information. And all the other information about it, about this, is just that Parler stopped the lawsuit. The lawsuit is not going forward. Amazon has won. That's the presumption that the average person in America would receive. In fact, if we look this up live, uh, there's been an update one hour ago where End Engadget has updated and just put out their latest news on this, saying Parler withdraws its lawsuit against Amazon for kicking it off of the Amazon web hosting service. We have The Verge, who initially had their article and Business Insider. If the average person puts in Parler lawsuit, this is what they're going to see. And that means that what they are going to understand is that Parler lost. Amazon did the right thing. But that's not true. That's misleading. There is a critical bit of information that is being left out of the article from The Verge, from Business Insider, and from Engadget, especially in their headlines. And I can prove it. The article from Fox Business News, Parler sues Amazon again, alleging breach of contract defamation drops first antitrust lawsuit. So it's very clear and it says so in the first paragraph. Social media company Parler dropped its antitrust lawsuit and filed a separate suit against Amazon and Amazon Web Services this week alleging breach of contract and defamation. That means something very different than what we heard from The Verge. Because The Verge said they with Parler has withdrawn its antitrust lawsuit against Amazon, ending its two-month effort to legally compel the company to reinstate its hosting account. There is a big difference. Amazon did not reinstate uh, Parler. Parler went and got its own web hosting. It is not necessary to be reinstated because they found an alternative means. That lawsuit is essentially moot. But Parler made a separate lawsuit, a lawsuit that has merit. In fact, if we go to uh, what another recent update uh, where we see from Bloomberg.com, Parler sues Amazon again, saying it stifled free speech which is the entire, ultimately, the core of the case, free speech. And that on uh, there has been a new complaint filed, a new lawsuit that was filed on March 2nd. Now, sadly, that lawsuit has not come up. Uh, it is not available to be read yet. We did search for that. But there's the important thing. The only thing they're talking about is the, the case, as you see here on the screen right now, Parler versus Amazon Web Services. That case was stopped because Parler has its own web hosting being done right now. Again, we are on that right now. But the public is being misinformed by The Verge and by other news media. And Google is doing its best effort to make sure that the public only sees one side of this story. The incomplete information, information that has a bias built into it. They see, Parler withdraws lawsuit. Parler drops federal lawsuit. Parler drops antitrust lawsuit. What they're, and by the way, the Verge article has been updated because this is what they published at 7.19 a.m. And I just noticed it four hours ago. There's a new update. Parler drops federal lawsuit against Amazon, but files another in state court. So in other words, they know 
they didn't give the correct information to the public. They misinformed the public. But, th and this is the problem with news media. The lie, the misinformation, the misleading information continues to be spread like wildfire. The correction is barely noticed. Engadget is quoting The Verge. Insider is quoting The Verge. They're only focused on one part of the message and they are putting that message out. And if you look at what's being said by Google, what's the most important thing? The lawsuit. The lawsuit. The lawsuit. They drop the antitrust. But you're not seeing the update. Nowhere here are you seeing Fox News or uh, the update. Because they're trying to put out a certain message. That certain companies can be removed without question. They can be removed and silenced because of their right-leaning beliefs. Because they do not comply with the preferences of the far left. Of, in, of institutions like Twitter, Facebook, uh, Google, YouTube. That's the message that is being sent. The lawsuits will not go through. You do not have a voice. You do not have a choice. You must comply. Now, you may not agree with that summation, but we can all agree in the fact of what is being put out there. At 719, The Verge wanted you to believe that Parler had lost. That news was being copied by Business Insider. That news was being promoted and continues to be promoted by Engadget and other news media, even though it is absolutely incorrect and has been verified as incorrect by multiple news media. The lawsuit is continuing to move forward. There are people who are fighting for free speech. And that fight is not over. It has not been settled. When the news media wants to tell you that we should fight against misinformation, this is the kind of inf misinformation they want to approve, that they want you to have, that only one voice can be heard, only one voice will prevail. That's not news. Now we see, since 7.19 a.m., The Verge has made a correction. They have finally decided to tell the public the truth, the full truth. But it's already too late. Their false message is already traveling through the news media who are not checking on this, who are not doing their due diligence, and are reporting misinformation. Where is the outrage from the news media against The Verge on this poor reporting, on this incomplete information that is affecting other news media outlets and therefore the public? It's a big deal because this impacts free speech. This impacts the way people feel that they can speak and when they are silenced improperly, that they have a recourse. It is a chilling effect on the First Amendment to report that people are being silenced and they can't do anything about it. We think it's a big deal. And we wanted you to see the proof, to see what is being reported and how it is being reported because that makes a difference. It makes a very big difference, and they know it. That's why we've seen a correction in the news story from The Verge itself, making an addendum that didn't exist until four hours after the fact, after the news had already circulated, after people had already read the article. They knew what they were doing, 
They were painting a picture in people's minds. They were painting a picture for the rest of the news media to follow, and they succeeded. And they should be called out for that. They should have got it right the first time. And you shouldn't be misled. But that's why we're here. That's why we do what we do. You may disagree with our conclusions, but we want you to see the facts and links to everything we have discussed in this article will be in the description in YouTube so you can see it for yourself and come to your own conclusion. We hope that we see you on Sunday talking with us and joining us on our live stream at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you found this to be informative, if you've liked it, please do share and also most importantly subscribe so that more people are able to see this and they are able to add their free speech to our message as well. We thank you and we hope that you'll be well.